New warning at Campi Flegre. Sudden land rise raises fears of imminent eruption. Beneath the quiet streets of Naples, Italy, the earth is stirring again. The ancient supervolcano known as Campi Flegre, or the Flegrean Fields, is showing renewed signs of unrest, and this time, the warnings are growing more urgent. Scientists monitoring the region have recorded a sudden acceleration in land uplift, suggesting that magma or volcanic gases may be accumulating beneath the surface at a dangerous rate. For months, ground deformation sensors and GPS instruments installed around the caldera have detected an unusual and rapid swelling of the land, a rise of over two centimeters per month, centered near the coastal town of Pozzuoli. Satellite data confirms what residents can already see with their eyes. Roads are cracking, pavements are buckling, and ancient buildings are showing new fractures. This rising land, known scientifically as Brady Seaism, is the volcano's way of breathing, a slow but ominous expansion of the Earth's crust caused by pressurized gases and molten rock pushing upward. A sleeping giant with a violent past. Campi. Vlegre is not just any volcano. It is one of the largest and most dangerous calderas in the world. Its last major eruption, about 39,000 years ago, was so powerful that it spread ash as far away as Russia, plunging Europe into a volcanic winter. The blast reshaped the landscape of southern Italy, leaving behind a vast crater that today lies partly under the Bay of Naples. Smaller eruptions have occurred since, with the most recent in 1538, when a new mountain, Monte Nuovo, was born from the ground in just one week, a dramatic reminder that the caldera is far from extinct. What makes Campi Flegre uniquely perilous is not only its explosive potential, but also its location. Over half a million people live directly above or near the caldera, many within just a few kilometers of the areas currently experiencing the most intense uplift. Should the volcano erupt again, the consequences could be catastrophic, not only for Italy, but for the global climate. signals from the deep. Recent seismic data paints a troubling picture. Over the past year, the area has experienced thousands of micro-earthquakes, some strong enough to be felt by residents. These tremors indicate that the crust beneath the caldera is fracturing under increasing pressure. According to scientists at the Italian National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, INGV, the stress levels in the rock may now be approaching their breaking point, a critical threshold beyond which gas and magma could begin to escape. Researchers have proposed several models to explain the ongoing uplift. One theory suggests that superheated fluids and gases are accumulating within a shallow reservoir only three to four kilometers below the surface. As these fluids expand, they push upward, deforming the ground above. Another possibility is that a fresh pulse of magma has intruded into the lower crust, feeding the system and causing it to swell like an inflating balloon. A city on edge the people of Pozzuoli and Naples are no strangers to living atop an unpredictable volcano. During the last period of intense Bradyseism in the 1980s, tens of thousands of residents were temporarily evacuated as the land rose more than 1.8 meters in just two years. While the feared eruption never occurred, the memory of that event still haunts the region, 
and recent activity has revived those fears. Local authorities have raised the volcanic alert level to yellow, meaning the volcano is restless but not yet erupting. Civil protection agencies are reviewing evacuation plans, updating hazard maps and preparing emergency shelters. For many residents, however, the uncertainty is the hardest part. The uneasy waiting for a disaster that may or may not come. We live with the volcano, says one resident of Pozzuoli. Every shake, every crack in the wall reminds us that it is alive beneath our feet. Lessons from Science and History Scientists stress that uplift does not always lead to eruption. Campi Flegre has experienced multiple uplift episodes in the past century without erupting, each time deflating back to a quieter state. Yet the current rate of deformation is faster and more sustained than any observed in recent decades, and models suggest that the crust may be weakening, meaning it could fracture more easily in the future. The situation draws comparisons to Yellowstone in the United States, another vast caldera where ground uplift and seismic swarms have triggered similar concerns. However, unlike Yellowstone, Campi Flegre sits directly beneath the metropolitan area, amplifying the risks dramatically. Researchers are using satellite radar interferometry, INSAR, gas emission analysis, and seismic tomography to map the evolving structure beneath the caldera. Early findings suggest that the magma reservoir may be slowly expanding, feeding volatile gases into a pressurized hydrothermal system. The release of these gases could either relieve the pressure harmlessly or trigger a chain reaction leading to an explosive event. The uncertain future. No one can predict with certainty when or if Campi Flegre will erupt. Some scientists believe the system is entering a new phase of long-term reactivation. Others argue that it may simply be venting pressure through non-eruptive means. What is clear, however, is that the caldera is not dormant, it is alive, dynamic and evolving.